Okay, so pretty much, um, I'm, I, today I've just started journaling on paper instead of a phone, and I want to tell you, like, why journaling on a piece of paper or, like, handwriting it is better than, like, typing it on your phone, and, like, the simple reason, I'm, I'm going to cut straight to the chase, the simple reason why journaling on a piece of paper is better than on a computer or a phone or just hand handwriting is just better the reason it's better is because it takes longer for thoughts to process and because it's slower is actually better because the whole point of journaling is like so for example deep journaling we're going to do deep journaling first and then we'll go on to gratitude. Deep, we'll start with deep journaling. Deep journaling is... The whole purpose of it is to get all your thoughts down onto paper so you can stop overthinking about it and obsessing about it. And if you're typing on a phone... yeah, How, how quick is it to type on a phone? Like, it is, it's rapid, right? Like... Your handwriting's about like 30 to 40 words per minute. On a phone, it's double, triple. So if it's, if you're pretty much typing as fast as your thoughts are going, your thoughts aren't processing. And because your thoughts aren't processing, you've literally like just wasted time journaling. You've just pretty much spent. 10 minutes just typing away thoughts thoughts are still all over the place and now you don't know what to do but if you start handwriting if you if you because we already established that it's slower to write so if you start handwriting your thoughts are going a bit slower which is actually better because whilst you're writing putting everything on the paper there's not like this random thought which is just like it's stupid, it didn't need to be written down. But if but if you're handwriting, that thought doesn't appear. And because that thought doesn't appear, you get pretty much all the essential things down, written down. Your thought process is slow, so you're not overthinking about it anymore. And let's say you're making a decision, you you can make the right one. Because you have everything down, but you're not, like, overthinking, you're not panicking. Because when you write on a phone, it's almost like you're, you're putting yourself in a state of panic whilst journaling. And, like, you don't want to journal on, like, some sort of... Like, in terms of decision making, you don't want to... You definitely don't want to make a decision based on emotion. You have to remain stoic. Writing on a piece of paper, or not even on a piece of paper, you could maybe write it down on a whiteboard. Don't type slow. Don't don't be stupid. Don't like try and find a loophole and like type slow. Don't don't be stupid. Some people like don't like handwriting because their handwriting's bad. Or maybe it's because it's slow and they're in a rush and stuff like that. But, I mean, how are you going to get quicker and better handwriting? By, by handwriting. It's almost like a skill that you have to, like, level up. I'm trying to think. So, we went over making the decision. And how make it like you want your thoughts to be slower when making a decision so you can get all the essentials down and you're not overthinking and you can critically analyze like what you need to do and what the best decision is and for gratitude journaling when we have a slow thought process it's better so gratitude journaling and you have a slow thought process it's better because you give more time to each thought you're grateful about, each thing you're grateful about. 
and because it's slower you actually like appreciate it more because you have to you actually have to think about it because if if you've done if you've got to journal on a phone you'll know about this you when you're typing away what you're grateful for it's not even like it's processed because it because you're typing so fast you you've not even really like given uh you haven't even given it a thought and then like boom you're on to the next one so like oh, i'm grateful for my rubber i'm grateful for this light i'm grateful for my phone and then like you're just on to the next thing and the next thing and the next thing but when you write it down you have to take more time into each individual thing you're grateful for and because of that we generate more happiness and more gratitude and because we generate more like it's a greater return on investment yeah yeah it might be slower now but afterwards you get more grateful you have more gratitude for the same thing it's just different it's just a different way you write it yeah the main takeaway of this video is that we write we journal on paper because the thought process is slower giving us more time and more focus and clarity take care